Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will make four days worth of food. To make it really easy, we'll only use frozen ingredients and ingredients that don't need peeling or chopping. Each portion is under 300 calories. I don't measure any ingredients for this tutorial as I want to keep it simple. Total calories is not perfectly exact, but represents the maximum it could be. By knowing the total weight of each package and with my experience of measurement in the kitchen, I can tell if I use, for example, half of a one pound 454 grams bag of shrimp, so would have used at the maximum 222 grams, which equates to 130 to maximum 170 calories, depending on the type of shrimp, whether the tail and the head are capped, etc. And this entire prep will cost you approximately $15, depending on where you live. So what are we making today? Four portions of overnight oats with mixed berries and nuts for breakfast, four portions of beans and olive salad for lunch, and finally, two portions of mixed vegetables and tofu with two portions of shrimps, green peas, and couscous for dinner. So let's start the dinner preparation. So what will you need? This is a list of ingredients. Just take a screenshot first and we'll go through them. So two pots. A colander, chopping board and a knife, but they're optional. It's really just if you want to chop uh, the tofu in half. Cubes, four containers and two bowls. Shrimps, green peas, mixed vegetables with potatoes, couscous, instant is quicker, tofu, only half of the packet, 220 grams approximately. Frozen garlic and onion already chopped. So pour some couscous in a bowl. Rinse the tofu. Add the garlic and two saucepans. Oops, <laughs> don't worry, you can never have too much onions anyway. <laughs> Add the mixed vegetables in the first pot. Add the green peas in the second pot. Boil water in a saucepan if you don't have a kettle for the couscous. Rinse the shrimps in a colander. So optional, you can chop the tofu if you want cubes or crumble it with a fork if you don't want to chop anything at all. Add some soy sauce, salt, pepper and curry powder. Mix and cover with a lid. Add soy sauce to the shrimps. Pour boiling water on couscous and mix and cover. Add the chopped tofu to the mixed vegetables. It's time to pour the cooked meals into the containers. So start with a couscous. And then add the green beans and the shrimps to it. Plate the mixed vegetables and tofu dish. So it's time to make the jar salad. So grab four mason jars or any other glass containers you have. We'll use beans, red beans and white beans, some nuts, carrots, olives, Cherry tomatoes that need no chopping. 
mixed greens. So rinse the beans, rinse the carrots, rinse the olives. The dressing is lemon juice, mustard, vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper. Avoid using a big spoon with mason jars. To measure, use a small spoon because teaspoons fit best in the mason jar spout, which is pretty small. The only drawback, <laughs> the only drawback in using cans <laughs> is opening them. <laughs> Et voila! <laughs> Start with the lemon juice. Lemon juice is great to keep ingredients fresher and longer. Add one teaspoon of mustard. Add one teaspoon of olive oil. Add one teaspoon of vinegar, salt and pepper. Then add all the ingredients in layers, trying to be as equal as possible in each jars. Add a few nuts in each jar. About 10 in each is enough as nuts are packed with calories. Finally, add the salad leaves on top. That way they won't touch the liquid and stay fresh longer. Okay, now let's finish this preparation with the breakfast. So I use jars with bigger openings so I can eat directly from them in the morning. I don't need to use any other bowl or anything. I can add a banana if I want and bring it in my handbag. So grab some mixed berries, any nut milk, quick oats, a mix of nuts and seeds. So first step, start pouring the oats. Add the milk. You can also use water. Water is cheaper and lower in calories, but you just won't get a creamy taste from your overnight oats. Optional, you can add cinnamon, you can add nutmeg or cardamom. It's really up to you. I add cinnamon here. So add the nuts. Pistachios. Walnuts, hazelnuts, add the pumpkin seeds to all jars, and you're done. Simply close all the lids and store everything in the fridge. Whatever you do, never refreeze thawed food. Enjoy not having to cook for the next four days. Try to consume everything in four days, not longer. And don't hesitate to add sauces or ingredients to each dish once you're ready to eat them. This is simply a base that you can customize any way you want. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification button. And I will see you in the next video. See you next time.